Now coming to the another lecture on pump and its application and in this section I will discuss about the positive a special type of positive displacement pump that is the load pump. So before going to the details of the load pump so again I display in the classification of pump in very details. So today I will discuss about the two red mark pump gear pump and load pump and basically we compare between the load pump and gear pump, gear pump what will be the difference and what will be the similarity of these two type pump these two pump are positive displacement constant delivery pump now I am coming to the again and the classification of positive displacement pump one is rotary pump another is reciprocating pump uh, in under the rotary pump gear pump rope pump sliding vane pump screw pump are present in case of reciprocating pump piston pump diaphragm pump and plunger pump so this slide is old but some modification is here in every pump so rotary pump this is a positive displacement pump which has periodically rotating action what will be the gear pump gear pump comprises two gears in a casing casing with very small radial end clearance generally it is used in lubrication system so gear pump is consists with two gears and it is used in lubrication system loop and loop pump loop pump comprises loops so instead of gear here there is a loop and the action of loop same as the gear same as gear in gear pump so it's basically play the role of the gear and generally it is used in paper and pulp industry now then come to the sliding vane pump and it comprises number of heads in a circular array in a barrel and in the screw pump screw type barrel is used with housing can create high pressure uniform delivery used to start for lubricant the gear pump and screw pump are used for lubrication purpose and according to their requirement we use according to their provision we use gear pump, screw pump, load pump and siding pen pump. pen pump. Now both are the positive displacement rotary rate pump. Now coming to the positive displacement pump various type of positive displacement pump and their presentation is here how they are looks like this is all other cross sectional view of gear pump, load pump, pen pump and screw pump. So pen pump and screw pump differs from gear pump and low pump gear pump and low pump both are look like similar and the operating principle more or less same in case of vane pump the vane action is the main things in case of vane pump action of the vane and screw pump the thread of the screw in a barrel is the one of the key element in case of screw pump so now I am coming to the low pump. Today's topic is basically the low pump. So what is the low pump? So in this figure we see two pump, gear pump and low pump. The construction features are basically same. And the fluid comes due to the rotation of the gear or lobe. So the, these are the similarities between the low pump and vent pump. Uh, low pump and gear pump, not vent pump. Sorry, I am very, very sorry. So low pump, what is low pump? A low pump is a rotary type positive displacement cell priming, priming pump. So it is a positive displacement cell, cell priming. Cell priming means it's not required any type of priming operation before start. The operation or working principle of the low pump is similar to the external gear pump. Obviously this is similar to the external gear pump, not internal gear pump. The low pump are always make clearance 
from the casing or housing. So always there will be some micron level clearance between the case and rotating loop. There is no metal, not metal to metal contact. There is no metal to metal contact and where in abrasive application is, is mineral. Me, oh sorry, minimal. So there is no abrasive action. Use of multiple mechanical cells makes cell construction important. So the construction of this low pump is very much important in design point of view. Low pumps are commonly used in food processing industry. Why we use food processing industry in a large scale? Because they handle solids without damaging any part of the pump, sorry, any part of the pump and any part of the products also, both. Uh, here we only mention any part of the pump and you can add another point in part of the pump and the products also. So please write down it. Now, now coming to the another lectures on pump and its application and in this section I will discuss about the positive a special type of positive displacement pump that is the load pump. So before going the details of the load pump happen so just see we divided the pumping action in three parts first one is the suction second one is the transfer of liquid third one is the delivery so in case of suction what will happen when the lobes pass through the suction sites it's create cavi cavitation or oh, sorry it creates cavity uh, so working fluids comes in so it create a cavity and due to the cavity the pressures inside the chamber is minimum it becomes less than the atmospheric pressure so the fluid can easily comes to the casing then the liquid transfer through the clearance path to the delivery side then due to the rotation action of the lobe 
the liquid pass through the clearance between the lobes and the casing casing the liquid will transfer and this is known as transfer step then the the third stage of the pumping process are uh, delivery so in then the this liquid is go towards the delivery side by the action of the rotating force and or rotate, uh, due to the, due to the action of the thrust so this is the main three stage and these three stage of the pumping process are known as suction stage transfer stage and delivery stage so this is the actually half the fluid comes to the suction side and it will transfer to the for to the uh, from the delivery side through the clearance now uh, come to the advantage of the low pump basically this is rotary type low pump and application of the low pump this is not only rotary this is the low pump not only rotary pump it is the one type of rotary pump but you can say that advantage of rotary low pump so it will be better so as the low pump has the capability to handle solids without damaging the products so it can handle the solid soja so easily used in food processing industry or food application it can pump the large particles in size than any other positive displacement pump so the clearance is much more than the gear 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 pump so it can handle the large particles in size than any other positive displacement pump low viscosity fluid also dry very easily so slag type things also dry by this pump no metal to metal contact through out its operation so there is no metal to metal contact throughout its operation so there is no chance of wear and tear so this is the one of the major advantage of low pump now why do we apply this low pump what is the application field of the low pump the main application where the rotary types low pump are used they are food application industry basically this is the industrial application pump polymer industry soap industry dyes paint industries so this is the basically advantage and application of the loop type pump so this is the all about the loop pipe pump so i have a request to you please comparing the gear pump and loop pump you make a comparison between these two what will be the similarities what will be the difficulties what will be the application zone of these two type of pumps so you can visualize your understanding about these two types of pump and what will be the difference between these two types of pump what will be the similarities between these two type of pump so where you want to use it so this is just uh finding was the actually this is the igniting your engineering sense or it can develop your knowledge about the pump and now this is all about the loop pump and gear pump in the next class i will discuss about the vane pump and screw type pump so to this thank you very much for your attention